Good morning. Oh, I've got hair on me. Good morning. It's been a little while. I hope um, I can be heard and seen. Okay, Connie's already been at my date. It's the 16th of September. Um, girls are at school. It's lovely weather still. Um, yeah. Usual hair fog on. Cushions behind nuts from the outdoor furniture. And when it's up getting colder, I actually thought, mm, shall we put them away in the garage? But now it's warm again. And then I had the other thought of if we're going to have to be more careful, you know, even stricter than we have been, then maybe I need, to, maybe we're going to need them in the winter. I'm going to have to get one of those heated things for the garden so that we can meet some people and distance in the garden. Um, oh, lovely. Some people are here. Welcome. Hi, Jill. Hi, Dave Repairs. Currently sat on the toilet. That is, I'm, uh, thank you for that, Dave. I, I hope you're having a lovely time. Uh, morning, Crispy. Oh, Chris, I popped, we were camping at the weekend and I popped to um, the special place. Of course, it's shut on Saturday now, isn't it? I mean, of all days, to be sure, and maybe that's so that they don't get so many people. A bit disappointed. Uh, morning, Peter. Um, if I don't know if Peter's been promoting, but I'm on Peter's channel this evening, the vinegar jar. Um, Jill just thinking I hadn't seen you for ages. I know. Well, I've been on the gram, but then I wasn't even, well, posting on the gram. Then I was live on the gram. Now i am just been a bit quiet, been a bit busy. God, I've been socialising a lot, I think, like distance socialising, but catching up with a lot of people. Um, a bunch of lovely Dovely. Hey, Anne. Hi, Pink Herpy. Oh, just what I need to eat my breakfast. Lovely, Rachel. Uh, good morning, Leanne. Oh, I missed your live stream. So oh, that's nice. Well, I, I'm a bit bored. <laughs> I was kind of like, oh, no, I'm just busy doing things. It's fine. And, like, when I went on every day in lockdown, that was because I actually, it was like, it was like an emergency situation, wasn't it? And I kind of thought, right, I'm going to go on every morning, check everybody's okay, catch up, see what we're doing, stop us from going mental. Um, and then, you know, that finished. And I thought, oh, you know, it's not required anymore. Um, and... Yeah, now kind of it's, well, I suppose this is new normal life because the kids have gone back to school. Uh, Tom's obviously in the kitchen. Um, and I, I mean, I've got in touch with my friend and she's got a really bad cold, so she said best not meet up. And I went to my aunt's on Monday afternoon. Monday afternoon. We were camping at the weekend. I actually got bored yesterday. Um, so I thought I'll... I'll do a bit of sorting and come on here. Um, <laughs> oh my God, hello stranger. Hi, bad wolf. <laughs> As Peter set himself a challenge, it's not just me. Um, you've not been promoting. Um, let all your Insta, but oh yeah, okay, yeah, I will. Um, are you not putting anything on Insta? I'll, I'll put something on. Uh, my name's Stephanie. Where am I? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, yes, yeah, special, I know. It's, but I was, yeah, disappointed. Oh, you're afraid to both them to, oh, I hope you find lots of lovely stuff. Um, Shell, have you listed your five yet? I tell you what, right, so this is the update. Oh, let me just say, if there's anybody else I need to say hello to. Uh, morning, Barry. Um, <laughs> where's this kitchen Tom's in? Aberdeen, I can still hear him. Yeah. Um, do you know what? People were surprised. They said that they thought that he would get on my nerves like really quickly. And I said, actually, I've I've been fine. It was only when I was a little bit irritable. I think it was towards the end of last week or the weekend or something. And he was, I think he'd been on conference calling from 7am. And the girls came in. I was like, shut the F door. Like, I just, I just flipped. And that was the first time, actually, in how many months it's been, uh, six months. And yeah, I just got used to it, I suppose. Um, guilt previewing from Netspresso. Yeah, you live and day off. Oh, fabulous. Um, boo, hello, Mandy. 
Uh, I hope that was a boo, as in boo, not a boo. <laughs> um, hello, Mike. Hi, Princess Shell. Nice to see you back. Stephanie Shelley, if you've broken beaded nexus, could I have them? They need to be. They need to be longest. I have so much. Oh, you're making wind chimes. Oh God, I bet I do, but. Um, I know I do. I know I've got long beaded. What sort of material are you making them out? I like what sort of material bead. I suppose they need to be chinky, don't, chinkly, don't they? Do you want a mixture of metal and... Um, because I have loads of... It's very bizarre. I have loads of broken lots at the moment, but I just sell by a kilo. But if I can be asked to go through and pick out long doodars... Um, it's bizarre. Um, for a while, big lots of broken was by that I sell by weight was going abroad, and I had to keep messaging and saying, "No, this is broken, don't you?" And yeah, it all was all good. It was very bizarre going to Italy mostly. I think um, who's the loudest? His nickname's Loud. Clearly, Tom. I'll sell it. Bang! Hello. Mixed. I'll, st I'll start a bag, Stephanie. <laughs> I don't think I can face going through my already broken knots. I have loads of it, um, but definitely got some. Uh, morning, Georgina. So, yeah, what's everybody else been up to? I've got to ask how your sales are. My sales on eBay, the summer slowdown was so horrific. I ended up downgrading my shop. In fact, that's the last time I was on here, I think I, think I told you. Uh, and I know some people sorry if I'm making slurpy noises um, I know some people have really suffered this summer with summer slowdown or is it recession or and markets flooded uh, don't know morning Kirsten oh this is good isn't it because you'll get customers now now I'm on um, yeah so tell me how Oh, Peter, sales are brill, all down to listing challenge. Oh, is that what you're doing with the boys? I haven't been following that. Uh, to be fair, also, because I downgraded my shop, I literally, I think I've listed two things in the last about two months um, because I was downgraded. And, and also, of course, I'm, I'm doing bundles on Instagram now, which is predominantly to resellers. So... Um, I'm posting on there, so I am. I'm not listening on eBay, but I am posting stuff. Um, Jill needs to up listing. I've got I've got a box of stuff to list on the bay, but now I've downgraded my shop. I'm going to wait till things have sold through and maybe get it all up for Q4 or something. Um, Peter in a complete mess though. But if you're selling lots, that's good. Oh, you were listing a lot. Wait, Joy will be over slower for me in July and August, but have massively improved this month. That's good. I, um, yeah, I've had more sales in September. In fact, there was one day where, like, it was over 150, and that's literally unheard of. In the last, you know, month, I've had donut days. I've had £8.50, £12.50, and then suddenly 150-odd, One, I think it was Sunday or something. Um, and then quiet again i think i'm going over to manage payments today dave post office pickups massive on bank holiday week but this week has been calm um hi Lainey. uh Lainey, you're making me laugh on instagram well no you're posting some really nice pictures but you're funny um yeah so oh god i i mean i've it was ridiculous because in the summer i was found myself wishing the summer away for q4 to arrive because it was doing my head in ridiculous but i am enjoying posting stuff on instagram and resellers buying choosing everything they want for their bundles to flip onto ebay or etsy i think a lot flip onto so obviously for me it's like much lower profit than if i listed it on the bay but it's quicker um because so i need to obviously leave room for resellers to buy to be able to make a profit themselves but I'm, you know, dealing with colleagues, so mostly it's, it's nice. Um, 
I've been busy until this week. Georgina, oh, it's good you, boy, you have been busy. Oh, loving the mug, yeah, uh, it's a cath. It's a cath. Um, I'm not really into the florals, I like, but this got, I like these toadstools. You know who keeps flaunting our cath mugs? Um, Andrea. She was like, oh, I've just got this other mug that I just found at the cupboard. I'm not selling it. And because I messaged her, can I have that mug? And she go, I'm not selling it. <laughs> like, hmm. Um, <laughs> do you need me to explain why it's your birthday now, Shell? <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize Lainey has this uh, penchant for uh, explaining things in detail. <laughs> It's not my birthday today, by the way. It was the fourth. We've yes, yeah, so we've also. Oh, I'm going to sort some jewelry in a minute, but I'm just here to chat right now. So uh, deal with it if that's not what we've come for. Um, yeah, all of our birthdays are so mine and Connie's are on the fourth of September. Oh, Tom was on the thirtieth of August, and then Maud's was the twelfth, which was Saturday, which is why we're away camping. So. And people, when it got cold in August, people started talking about Christmas and like people at the door. And so I'm like, no, can you, no, stop. Like for me, I cannot think about Christmas until all the birthdays are done. And also I said, it's still fucking August. It's still the summer. I am not ready to kiss goodbye to the summer yet. I am not ready. So stop it. You're jumping the gun you're too far ahead. And then luckily the sun came back. So everyone can, my aunt's even put away her, um, she put away all of her summer clothes. So, were you one of those people who was saying, I'll be Christmas in a minute? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm pleased we've got this bit of Indian summer. I was laying up late. To a one of my chats that says, Kath mugs in there for 10 quid each. Fucking heck. I mean, it'd be all right. Well, how much are they when you buy them online in the sale? It can't be that much. Um, it'd be all right if it was one I was after for me, but obviously not for flipping. I'm an over explainer. My name is Lainey. I'm an over explainer. Am I Dave? Probably am. Oh, am I Dave? Sorry, I thought you Am I Dave? <laughs> oh, Stephanie, Tom shows your birthday. Burger. What did you do? He got drunk in the park with us. We went for a birthday picnic. And um, <laughs> when I got everybody gathered around <laughs> the kids, birthday cake lit. Um, that everybody singing happy birthday. <laughs> he turned around and came towards the birth cake and tripped over one of the bikes, <laughs> spread eagle. Just said to the kids, always had a lovely birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, Virgo. Oh, Virgo. Hello, Veronica. Oh, Georgina's birthday Friday. See, I think this is all, there should be a lot of birthdays now because isn't that New Year's Eve um, celebrations? Hello, Indy. Oh, what a nice surprise. That's lovely. Stephanie had barbecue and got drunk. Perfect. Yeah, I've realised from camping last weekend, well, I've realised how many mixer cans is too many to drink in an evening and also that the mistake I'm making is putting all my mixer cans in one pot. So I don't realise I'm drinking past my first night's allowance into my second night. So I'm thinking about putting it in two cool bags. But then I was like, I can't just have like that other cool bag in the car or something. It's going to, someone's going to have to hide it in another field or something. Because otherwise I'll just get it anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, lots of barbecue. It's very, very nice. Um, had some nice salmon. Well, right, actually, I'm, I am wittering. Oh, I think it stopped. I think I'll show you a bit of jewellery. That well, I'm just going to sort some. I yeah, I said that I I told myself I'm only going to deal with the stuff I've already got open, and I'm not going to open any new boxes. But I'm bored, so I've opened a new box. How are your sales, Indy? How, how's curtain, the curtain world? Yes, I've got, I think I've got four kilos in this box. Ooh, an extra I'll put some in my, that's what I've got. Oh, lots of colours. I'll put some, I've got my dog bowl, which I've got, I'll put some in here to sort, which I've got from the car boot. 
Okay. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a lovely elephant in here. Oh, it's hanging out. It's hanging over. There we go. I'll have a go through that. Oh, something wiry sticking out, which I don't like. Oh, hang on that. Hang on that. Right, let's put this pot over. Actually, I'll put this pot on the floor. Oh, chop some. Oh, good. Hair's molten. Pink Harpy barbecues great. Hubby preps and cooks. See, my hubby doesn't. He had, I have to do it all, which is annoying. But it's not one wheeler camping, it's different because there's boys there who like barbecue and I turn a few things. But um, he did a barbecue once before I met him and he didn't realise apparently like people bit in, literally bit into a sausage and it was black on the outside and frozen on the inside because he didn't realise you needed to, to defrost them. Um, oh, Indy, sales are great, good here at the moment. Selling curtains and bedding mainly. Mr Indy is doing well. Is that right? It's fabulous. Um, oh yeah, so this is what I just was ooing about. Actually, they're, oh, I don't know if they're paper or wood. I thought they might be glass, but they're not. But that's quite nice. I'll just stick it in my pile. See what else I can find. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, hang on. Well, I like the colour of this. Minky coloured beads, but they'll just go in job lock kilogram. Oh, in fact, actually, which I've got here. That was organised of me. I'll go straight in there. What else have I got? I've oh, got a necklace with round discs on it. So, yeah. Can I wear the bowl? Uh, my dog bowl. Wear it. What on my head? Not now it's full. Otherwise, don't dare me because I would have done. Yeah, so just have me on in the background because I am, um, I just bored. I just needed to talk, I think, which is, I like that. That's quite mod, isn't it? Um, I'll just put that on my, I do like different levels of bits and bobs on my Insta. So I do like stuff for a pound, panned, stuff for like £2.50 and stuff for four, usually vintage for four, sometimes silver nexus for five. Um, but I think that go on the pound, go on the pound rail with maybe that other little pretty one. Stephanie Hubby can't cook. Yeah, mine, well, I've sort of trained him to do like, literally like to heat things up. It's just a bracelet and go on the kilogram. Um, just to give me a break. Connie now does pasta once a week, which is, she's, which is brilliant. So it's doing pesto pasta, so... Um, also, if like me and Tom have got leftover curry or something, then she'll do pasta for her and more, which is great. Um, right, I will get to the bottom of this because I quite like this one. Oh, freaking that. Ooh, I'm in that at the moment. Right, I've seen worse. You're not working now then, Dave? Or are you still on the, are you still on the, have you finished on there? Right, that might be where Tom's gone. He's gone very quiet. Baby. What I'm trying to get out is, it's actually not even that cold. That's the back of it. It must be our gate. Can you see the light? I like that. I like the design, but it's maybe it's faux agate. I thought it was agate, but it. Mm, I'm not sure. It might just be plastic. I'm on in Funky UK, Neil. How oh, pink I'll be on photographing the last of the box I repaired while well done doing some selfies. Cool. Is that what are you? Is that on Etsy? No, you wouldn't be doing selfies on Etsy. Is that on Insta you're doing selfies? I'll have a look at this. Yeah, so uh, are you still in here, Peter? Are you going to tell us about tonight, what's happening? Because I've forgotten. And it's a half seven, isn't it? I want Peter to come in as a vinegar, vinegar channel. 
vinegar. Oh no, my missus can't cook. To be honest, I, my forte is opening things and putting them into bowls and um, also putting things into glasses. That's my forte. But then I like snacks more than meals, so that suits me. In the kitchen cleaning. You are, Dave. Um, this is... This is turning into more of a job than I would have hoped for. So I've got a class. This is the trouble when you buy jewellery in bulk, you see. Tangolitis. But I've had worse. I've still got a load of that 260 kilos I bought because it's so tangled. I'm, I've set myself the uh, goal of sorting one box out a month because it's so horrific I'll, otherwise i'll end up throwing it all in the bin right what have we got um yes yeah, so it's, it's quite i know it's modern but it looks oh that's interesting see how they've done that it looks quite 70s modernist it's really long i'm fascinated by these really long ones because i'm thinking in the winter you could wear that with a big jumper couldn't you like the little gold nexes that I like to wear won't be so good at the big jumper, but that would. Let's do that in my little pound area. Uh, right, and what else did I put off then? Oh, I think these are, oh, are an air. I think it's one of mine. Glass. I don't know why I can't. Yeah, that must be glass. Oh, does it chink? Oh, I chink this one. Let me find out if it's our gate or. No, I think that's plastic. I've made it to look like faux okay. Interesting. Right, yes, anyway, lovely colour blue that. Um, Indy, have I 100% moved over to jewellery now? No, I haven't 100% moved over to jewellery, um, but it's more, I'm not really doing clothes. I've got some left in my shop, which I'm kind of getting rid of. I've still got some ties, but I still, I like the curiosities um but i may also sell those through insta i'll still pick stuff up like i sold a travel scrabble the other day it's like if it's in front of me at the car boot and i know that's an easy sale i'm gonna pick it up um so i feel like i'd be stupid not to but so for instance these are for me but the next lot i'd pick up to sell check these gorgeous keys out showed one of my friends who's just like what are you gonna do with those i'm like well they're fabulous don't don't you realize like look at the look at these old keys it's like you know what did they use to they probably locked somebody in a you know a dungeon or something or anyway at least a big heavy door um freaking love them so yeah like stuff like that i would definitely put oh was i was i bingo winging then um definitely that sort of stuff i like and i'll show you my trumpet Neil, I was in a charity shop last year and I thought I'd quickly help the elderly lady volunteer untangle the knots and necklaces she was struggling with. I was still there a week later. It's awful, isn't it? Stephanie, I love cooking, but my husband's so fussy. We eat different meals. Oh, it's, it's a bit painful, isn't it? Um, Connie was a real carnivore and since she's um, given up meat, I don't eat meat anyway, it's made things a lot easier because I just make everybody eat vegetarian. Well, pescatarian, we all eat fish, so. Um, yeah, I'll show you my trumpet. Yeah, so there's other bits that I will um, pick up. Although some of it, like, look at that gorgeousness. It's just a little brass pot, although I obviously I might have to keep this. So I'll pick up bit filth inside yeah maybe I should keep that um just things that I like I suppose but check this out and that's gorge see gorge I think I showed it on insta I think um yeah Tom commented us it's either off of a an old car or a bike or something um I just love it so yes not just jewelries Crispy big keys. That must have been a huge chastity belt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who knows? Could have been a chastity belt. Could have been a cellar. Could have been a dungeon. 
Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's like I don't really like silver and gold, but I know I have to sell it because I've got this pot of stuff to test. I just, oh, boring. Just don't enjoy it. So, um, Huntsman horn. <laughs> Maybe. Yep. Oh, what's this, Nicolette? Oh. Right, this one's glass. This one's quite interesting, actually, because I've been seeing a lot of vintage necklaces. I don't know if this is a 60s or 70s style when it has the tassel, but it's like a beaded tassel. And I'm seeing quite a lot of those. Um, yeah, so quite like that. I know glass goes down very well with people. Oh, some interesting beads. Um, bit tribal. What are they made from then? They're all like separate ones. I don't know. Maybe they're just plastic, but they don't. Oh, it might be a mixture of wood and God knows what. The tea's got cold now. So I'll do a little bit more, but then I might have to go and refresh my tea. Mm. I like that. I know it's a kiddie bracelet, but I like it. stuff to test post it to the vinegar bloke yeah it's i have to test it with acid to see if it's silver or gold uh, i've done it like with the uh, oh <laughs> with this so that's not silver that's hanging off of my magnet it's the magnet um hi maria <clears throat> peter freaking heck can't find an item that's been on the store for three years sold for three pound forty nine i have to send it today Oh, it's so annoying. You've got to walk away, walk away, um, maybe look in a place where it shouldn't be, but then walk away and sometimes it will literally turn up the next day, but unless you've left it to the last minute. Yeah, I might put, um, I could wear this, couldn't I? I'll go nicely with my pilgrim. I put this one on, uh, where is it? This one on earlier. It's not silver. I don't know if it's a bloke's one. Quite chunky, but that's on there now. Uh, where was I? I got distracted. Oh, don't know where I was. See, it easily happens. All right. Yes. Oh, yeah, Peter, tell us a bit more about tonight. This would find it in two minutes, but I'm loath to ask her. Well, next time she comes up crawling up the stairs on her knees with your tea and brioche or whatever you're having this morning, ask her then. Um, right, I like this pendant. What is going on with the clasp? It's got a broken clasp. So it might be worth, is it just, yeah. Might be worth just taking that off so it can go on to something else. I like that. It's again, I think, I, yeah, just plast it. What was that? But it's, it's pretty cool. Right there, where they put that silver bit on the bottom. I like that. Right, now I can see some nice glass beads here. Yeah, I think they're called lamp work beads. Bit of a filth chain, but there's some nice beady beads on there. Yeah, I don't think the chain is very nice. Sometimes I'll I've put like a load of these beads together or said, you know, for restringing, so for crafters, because um, there's some pretty ones there, all right? Some pretty ones. Uh, oh, I've got a, uh, oh, that's, yeah, I know what I was distracted by. Well, well done with that. I had an earring hanging off. Oh, I had an earring hanging off this bracelet, which looked interesting, and now I've lost it. Oh, where did that go? Must have fallen into the pot. One Guinness earring. Um, where are you gone? Where you gone, little earring? I guess she'll turn up. It looked a bit like silver, like silver Celtic knotty. David, she crawling on her knees. I suspect Peter right behind her. 
Oh, here we go, Peter. Tonight the plan is you just chat to Z and Coda Flipper while I sip tea. Tea. I love a nice glass of red wine. Thank you very much. Um, that's fine by me. Yeah, I can chat to Z and Coda Flipper. We have a nice little chit chat. And it's half seven, isn't it? So Tom's out on some sponsored walk thing with some friends. Um, but the girls are here, so I've told them they either, they can't have the telly on. You have to either button it or go upstairs. Right, there's a little goldy looking chain. Let's just test it with my magneto. Oh God, it's a strong magnet. It's picking everything up now. Pick up all the crap. Right, let's have a look. Oh, right, so the chain is definitely not, no, it's not gold. It is magnetic. Pretty though. Pretty and pretty, is it vintage? It's got a little, I kept calling them seed clasps, but they're actually spring ring clasps. It's a nice little um, locket. Let's see if I can get into it. Hmm, thought well, that might have been gold to be honest. That's pretty, I'll put a little picture in there. Um, Dave, if you're on the wine gold, help us. I'll just have a little glass. It won't be, it won't be a repeat of um, my weekend camping. That's nice. I think that's very nice. Very nice, very tasteful. It's like liquid pebbles with eyes in them. Who does? Oh, it's a bit clockwork orange, those, eye, those looking eyes, isn't it? Yes, I like that. So I'll be going on to my Insta. What happened to that nice looking um, earring? I put it somewhere. Um, yeah, see, the thing is, I I like a glass of wine in the evening, and I find I like it even more since March. It's like Terminator 3. I'm gonna oh right, I'm gonna wear my Terminator top tonight. I'm wearing my Terminator. Um don't want to clash with the new wave of YouTube stars. Who are the new wave of YouTube stars, Peter? Because I am I honestly I'm hardly watching YouTube. I've watched Dead Refinement, Chris. Um, because he's epic. He was he, I don't know how he does this. Like, how can you every day come out with tips? Um, and he's funny. Uh, I don't think he means to be funny, but I find it funny sometimes. And is there anybody else I watch still? Chris. Bit of heart pickers because I like Ronnie's voice. They're both Americans. I was watching Texas Girl Treasures Margaret, but she is on every day and I just was a bit tubed out. So I haven't watched her for well, a couple of weeks. Um, so no, so who's the new wave of YouTube stars that I've missed? Um, Peter, I felt rough this week, so not done much prep. You don't, you, please don't prep. Please don't make it formal. Just informal. Um, Shell Connor, you're, I'm old wave, very old wave. Oi. Well, if I'm old wave, what are you? <laughs> but that's a good thing. Yeah, come on, tell me who's new wave because I'm out of I'm out of the loop. Um, right, what's going on here? We've got a blingy. Bit of a different heart actually it's got a hole in the heart um somebody might like that is it wonky oh no it's just somebody might like that i've realized i cannot i cannot gauge people's tastes so um when i'm doing like my pound necklaces i'm like right no don't pretend to try and know everybody's taste so i just put them on there and then if they're not if they don't go they're just going to my by kilo weight stuff because my it, and then sometimes people grab something and I go see I wouldn't have even put that on so I, I don't I don't try and gauge people's taste anymore I just put it on and people can say yay or no um rummage around oh global thrifters yes um I I did see an episode of them I can't I don't know their names I think I might follow them on I might follow them on insta 
oh, Brad and Jazz. Um, they do a real mix of stuff as well, don't they? I think I saw one or two episodes, and they do they do they cover like just everything, and they they seem pretty clued up. Um, oh, and one of these on these are almost like faux faux butter scotch, no buttermilk butterscotch. No, what do you call that amber? Butter wouldn't melt in my mouth. <laughs> it's butter faux butterscotch. Oh, useless, honestly, it's getting worse and worse by the day. Um, I actually walked into, you know, they have those screens around hills now, like the clear perspex visor things. I walked into one on my birthday. Um, I just, I don't know, I just walked to the till and I just, like, oh, <laughs> like that, like the screen going. And um, Connie said it was like watching a bird fly into a window. I just completely went <sighs> on my birthday. And the woman behind the counter didn't even laugh. Um, Stephanie, Ricky Lee, he's near me in Tadley. Oh, I'm also loving the Brum reseller. Oh, oh, yeah, I don't know any of these. Oh, Jack and Emily. Who said, why did you say Brad and Jazz? Is that somebody different, Dave? You're going to, it doesn't take much to confuse me. Um, you know, the onions were this original necklace. Yeah, I think it's very butterscotch amber. Um, <laughs> I suspect butter does melt in my mouth. <laughs> well, you don't know. Uh, we're all made up of opposites, anyway. Oh, so, what is everybody up today? Uh, up today? Is everybody up today? Uh, what is everybody up to? Um, I don't know, I've got nothing on now that I, I tried to, it's broken, tried to uh, arrange something with my friend, just kilo away, weight, and she's having a cold, so, um, oh, I like that, now we're talking, that's a bit, yeah, liking that, that's a bit more industrial, isn't it, a bit steampunk, possibly, no, industrial anyway, um, yeah, could wear that whilst locking people up in the dungeon, couldn't you? Yeah, we really like that. Got something bonus hanging out of it. Yeah, that's a goodie. Oh, oh, purple, but it looks like it's got a crack in it. Broken. And stretchy bracelets. Oh, what have we got here? in there oh hang on that looks like a nice one something going on here there oh hang on is this all part of this oh it might be part of the same necklace is that what be going on i'm confused um I have no idea. I think. Oh, hang on. Yep, there's another link there. I think this thing it's attached to isn't nice, but this is nice. It's got nice little beadies, but it's also got a nice Miller Fury style glass pendant, and that is a pretty one. Oh, there we go. That's which Miller Fury is. That's very pretty. The light goes through it, I don't know if you can see that. It means a thousand flowers. Um, that's a pretty one. I like that. Put that on my Insta. Um, I'll see you later, Peter. India, I've already been to a car boot sale. Oh, nice. Only 10 stalls, but still managed to get a few bits. I'm in my usual September panic buy mode. Yeah, my local boot has been taken over by... Um, uh, well, they used to do every other week and now they do every week. And they have said that as long as the field can take it, they will go for, you know, all year round sort of thing. Oh, thank God. Thank God. With music to my earbuds. Um, oh, please, soft to find the Harry Potter audio book. Good luck. Stephanie making a beef stew, then defrost in the freezer. Lovely. Oh, Brad and Jazz are the two Aussie fruits. Oh, 
I think I was on, I think I was on something with them. So, oh, I was on something. I can't, maybe it was a charity thing. But I, yeah, I, my memory's just shot. Um, yeah, I usually do a wed Wednesday boot. Oh, I love a midweek boot sale, but can't go anymore. I'm so back to school. Oh, does he? You can't go anymore because I'm back to school. Um, Funky UK Neil, I unsubbed a loads of YouTube channels recently. Too much energy going on. Yeah, the pace of pizza suits me nicely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, too much energy. Oh, people are too enthusiastic nightmare isn't it when people are all jolly and enthusiastic <laughs> you won't get a lot of that here um right we've got a black a black bangle might be nice for another bangle right, that's just stretch you can go in there <clears throat> by kilo oh i'm just gonna oh my word i thought that was a necklace but it is a bracelet do you know what this reminds me of ladies might know uh, my nan used to wear a perfume called weave gauche and it, I'm sure that's what it was, and it was these colours. Whoa, man, that is, you need to have a personality to carry that off and a bigger wrist than I've got. That's amazing, actually. That is amazing. Um, I'll just quickly see if I can see that little earring. If not, then I'm going to have to go and get another cup of tea. So I'll be able to leave you all in peace. <laughs> to do things. Don't know what's happened to that era. It's annoying, isn't it? Hmm. Probably find I'm sitting on it or something. Um yes. I'll tell you what, I have so many vintage broken beads. I've got a broken vintage lot that I need to put on the bay at some point. And I'm bet half of them are real as well. Nice class but usually missing a stone. If people could do some kind of decent crafting with the, all these beads, I think they'd be on to a winner. Because I'd buy something that'd been nicely crafted with, you know, decent vintage beads. Um, oh, man alive, that's awful. I've ugh, found a quite ugh, ugh, disgusting throat. It's quite, if it was clean, it would be quite um, 80s. Um, have I heard of George, Dave? George Ross? George and Bungle? Um, See you later, Maria. Looking forward to tonight's stream. Cool. Yeah, and me. I think that'll be good fun. Um, and that'll stop me from watching back-to-back -back Storage Wars for an hour. Right. This... Oh, that's an interesting one. We've got some faux Sit Chanel Cs on this. Might be able to sort something out with that. How have I been on? Oh, 43 minutes. Oh, 40 people joined. Thank you for, uh, hopefully you've got me on in the background for joining me. Um, oh, I'm just losing the will, to be honest. I just, I can't be bothered with it. I think I might need a new, I don't know, something. I get bored really easily, which is why the Insta is quite good because it's kind of an instant People just like, yeah, I want this, this, and this, or they don't. And you're like, great, move on to the next thing. Um, I quite, I know it's just a cheap part, but I like this and I think it's clear. Is it clear? No, I don't think it is clear. I quite like it. It's not a nice chain. What were they asking for? Oh, they weren't asking anything. That's funny. Um, yeah. And that's the trouble when you're bored because then you're like, oh, is it acceptable to have my glass of wine yet? And usually the answer is not really. Right, let's cut this off. I'm not cutting my hair off. Stick that in the pile. 
Um, oh, I see some red plastic faster beads. I like that sort of thing. Right, I'm going to go and get another cup of tea, I think. Maybe a yogurt, live dangerously. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so those kind of weird, I think they're shells, the weird shapes. Probably shells, aren't they? Just a beaded thing. I think I just put that in the key layers. I don't know, sometimes people might. No, I stick it in the, so I put it on for, you know, in the, in the pound lineup, and then if nobody wants it, then it goes in the key layers. That's, that's the way it is. Um, this is the thing you think oh, I'll go make a cup of tea and then you just get or I get just distracted by something the other day I'll tell you this thing and then I'm going I the Tesco shop arrived and so I was getting it all in from the door like carrier bag list so just chuffed it all in the hallway put some away in the fridge and when I came out the kitchen I saw the head of the hoover because I'd taken a stick off to get the webs. And then I'm like, oh, there's the head of the hoover. So I thought, oh, I might, I'll go and put the stick back in the hoover head. And then I'm like, oh, I might do some hoovering actually. So I just went off hoovering. And then later on, I came back and saw the rest of the shopping, all the freezer stuff still in the hallway because I just got distracted. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I was putting the shopping away. Um, it's only going to get worse, isn't it? Right. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me. Um, come back half seven tonight, Peter the Vinegar Jars channel. Um, and yeah, did you say me, Peter, Peter, Z and Lee will be on there. Get a glass of wine and we'll have some fun. See you later.